So just a quick little video, I want to show you the number of strike markers that are out on the map. And you can see in the center there's a, a huge swag of them. And that's because, and you can also see the helicopters that are situated next to some of the strike markers, right? And I'm holding this in my hand, so it's a little wonky, but whatever. In the, I'd have to grab the sequence of play to use the correct term, but I believe it's the second strike phase. I'm unclear as to how air works in terms of what can be used, but it uses, because it uses terminology such that it says ground based units. And I don't know what that means. Does that mean you can't use Diego Garcia and US carrier forces? Or, or is that, you know, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand. So, we didn't use a whole lot of ground, uh, so, sorry, a whole lot of uh, air ground strikes for this particular phase. And I think with the following action about to occur, we're gonna, as the US or allied forces, we're gonna wanna keep our powder dry to do uh, combat support missions to press deeper into Pakistan. Cause you know, this is uh, uh, not necessarily impressive penetration in turn one but i think what we'll see is as we as we continue to degrade the detection aa and sam capabilities of the the enemy forces we'll see some uh, acceleration of the effects of the u.s firepower in the air anyway all these strike markers are the results of a combination of cruise missiles scud missiles uh, helicopter strikes, HQ strikes. And I got to tell you, this is really, really interesting and really uh, uh, provoking a lot of uh, thought and interest in how the game, the game is evolving and how the gameplay is evolving and driving some you know, tactical thoughts on what's the best way to go about doing A, B, C, or D. Uh, making some rules errors along the way. It's neither here nor there in terms of uh, you know, massive negative impacts to results. You know, we might miss a, uh, a DRM here or there and you go back and look and go, yeah, okay, well, that's not gonna change anything. So it's all good. So we're going to carry on. Thought I'd uh, share this with you. I'll get you a little little zoom in action here. You can see some of the the damage inflicted by choppers. 101st went at it. They'd rotated to show that this is their their last mission. So in fact, uh, this guy here will rotate. He will rotate, and this guy will rotate. And they're done for the turn. They can no longer fire. Well, he's actually he actually can because he has not done anything. The 101st took a beating on one of the strikes that they were, they had conducted against them. This Chinese unit here, sadly overstacked, an error on my part, um, which now means that HQ is reduced, which has really screwed them uh, pretty horribly. And I'm gonna move this guy's gonna go back actually. He goes over here. I've got another chopper here somewhere. This guy goes back. He goes back to his little base over there. And I think that was all. That was everything. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.